G'day guys, we're just going to do a little air temperature sensor calibration test for you today. So um, what we're going to do is here we've got a KA sensor um, fast response, we've got a standard one, uh, Delco air temp sensor, Bosch air temp sensor, and we've got a good old fashioned thermocouple. Um, I've made this test piece here. This has been expertly TIG welded by myself, don't look too closely. Um, and what we've got to test the um, air temp sensors calibration response is this um, Motec dash logger. Okay, so um, I've made a little test loom here so we can actually data log as well. Um, so yeah, we'll get the old um, heat gun for some air temp and we'll go through some tests with the actual air temp sensor calibrations. Right, we're all set, ready to go. So we've got uh, Delco air temp sensor there, <clears throat> Bosch air temp sensor there, uh, KA sensor, KA sensor fast response, and thermocouple. Um, this is a little loom that we've made up here, and this is the dashboard that we're going to use. So it's going to show like all the different sensors, etc. And then also here I can turn on data logging as well, so we can actually send those to a log file. Hi right guys, here we are. Uh, I'm just going to arm the data logging. So all the temp sensors are reading a couple of degrees within each other, so that's all good. Um, they're all wired up into this tube. We've got some pro power air duster for a bit of cold air. And we've got the old trusty heat gun. So we'll just whack some heat into, heat into it first. Wow, what a difference, hey? Eh? Massive, massive difference there. Okay, so we'll just whack some cold air in there as well. Cool, let's just see what that looks like in the log. Wow, what a difference, eh? That's all the different air temperature sensors there. Okay, so the green one's the KA fast response. The yellow one's the Delco. The blue one is the KA um, sensor with the, or the normal response one. The red one is the Bosch air temp sensor. And the other blue one's the thermocouple right on the bottom there. Okay, so you'd expect a thermocouple to maybe not respond as quick as that um, as an air temp sensor because they're just a different design, closed tip, metal, etc. So, um, but look at the massive difference in air temperature sensor curves. Okay, so you can imagine if your thing's coming on boost or not, you know, you've got one at, you know, like 35 degrees, you've got one at 68. So, um, the amount of air density that you know is incorrectly read uh, going into your engine and calibration is always going to be wrong. So choose wisely, guys. I think you can really see from the results here which one's the best one to buy. Uh, 